Hey everyone, Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video, I'm going to make a recap of so far everything that I've covered in terms of building links. All right, and um, one thing I want to do is just make a quick Q&A session. I have about 11 questions written down right here that I want to answer for you guys. And uh, I'm going to do a quick Q&A session. I'm not going to dive into details about the hows or the whys. And I'm going to reference technical terms like page rank, backlinks, no follow. And when I reference those, I'm going to hope that you've seen the other videos to get what I mean completely. All right, because link building isn't something that you can just easily understand without first knowing the technical and then getting the basic questions. So here we go. I'm just going to um, kind of rapid fire them out of the way. The first one, how do no follow links affect SEO? Now, no follow links affect SEO in the sense that if you're building links to uh, from websites, let's say blogs, and you're and a lot of these blogs have no follow attached to the links that give that they're pointing to your site, then you're not getting any SEO credit. All that you're doing is letting Google crawl the link and it's finding your site, and it might help it index faster, which means it might help your website page show up in Google's rankings faster. But I'm sorry, not Google's rankings, Google's search results faster. But it doesn't help the page rank higher necessarily. All right, so that's how no follow links affect SEO. Now the next one, how do do follow links affect SEO? Now that one's a that one's just pretty much the opposite. It's free, this is just the basic link building. Do follow links are the basically just a good link from another website and it affects SEO in the sense that the more do follow links you have, the better your site is going to be able to rank higher in the search engines. Now, there's a lot of technical stuff that go into that, so check out the video about your link profile and link velocity to make complete sense of how link building in the big picture works, all right? Now the next one, how does the anchor text of a link affect your SEO? Now this is the most important question I think of all SEO questions. Now uh, I hope you know what anchor text is, if not refer to the other videos I've done. But basically how does anchor text links affect your SEO? Um, big time. Uh, because a link from another website that's using your target keywords that you're trying to rank for is so powerful because it's basically telling Google right away that your website that one webmaster thinks your web, your website is about whatever keywords you're trying to rank for now that's really powerful because it just basically it's um it's a way of actually you know what? let's just not get super complicated it's just very powerful understand that that's the basic point all right now there's a cat right around me so if you hear it meow it's a side point anyhow the next question how do paid links affect your SEO now this one's a little bit uh, gonna be a wishy-washer answer all right, paid links affect your SEO. They're really good to get if you don't get caught. All right, so uh, a paid link meaning I pay webmaster to link to me, and he's gonna use my keywords that I'm trying to rank for. Now that's good because that's basically a good anchor text link, a, a good anchor text keyword rich backlink pointing to my website. But it's not good if Google catches it. All right, Google actually penalizes sites for paid links. So it's good if you don't get caught bad if you get caught and it could really hurt your rankings big time if you get caught because you get penalized plain and simple so next question how do reciprocal links affect SEO just a quick refresher reciprocal links are you link to me and I'll link to you and then I'll link to John Doe and John Doe will link to me or any kind of little scheme where we all link to each other well those affect SEO in that you don't get any credit for them so you don't get hurt you don't get penalized for them but you're wasting time trying to build those type of links because they don't give you credit, all right? Uh, basically, they just cancel each other out. When you link to me and I link to you, and we're both using it, we're just linking to each other for the sole purpose of trying to gain links, they cancel each other out because they, going back to the link building video, you can't vote for, you can't, I don't know, just go look at the video. I don't wanna make this one too long. Check out the reciprocal links video. But basically, they cancel each other out, so it's a waste of time. Reciprocal link building is so 1999. So let's now go to the next question. How does linking to a bad neighborhood affect your SEO? Now this means, let's say you have a blog, which hopefully all you do. If you have a blog and then spam comments accidentally get posted and these spam comments go to places like pharmacy, you know, spam filled ph pharmacy sites, casino sites, you know, anything like that that's just very spam oriented. Um, this affects your SEO negatively big time because uh, when you, who you link to as a webmaster is a is a is kind of a it's a framing of what you think is important what you think is relevant to your content because no website's going to link to other people's content that's not relevant so if you start linking to these sites that are bad neighborhoods that are spammy sites you're basically saying you're giving them credit and that actually ends up hurting your page in its efforts to gain trust and ranking and so forth so 
it's really bad to link to spammy sites that's why it's important to monitor your blog comments all right next question how does the page rank of a web page affect the link juice passed through a link now this is probably the second most important factor in my opinion to uh, the anchor text remember a little, a little bit ago I mentioned how anchor text is probably the most important factor for link building well the other one they, they pretty much go hand in hand is the page rank of a website so if you get let's say you have a, a, a link from page rank from a website with a page rank of five and then you have a link from a website with a page rank of two I would rather get the link from the web page of a page rank of five versus the one of two simply because it's higher so the simple answer is to the question how does the page rank of a web of a web page affect the link juice pass through it simple the higher the page rank the better quality the link all right now there's a lot of other things that go into that so check out the video on the linking profile and linking velocity because things like relevancy and things like anchor text and all that stuff plays a big picture it's not as simple as black and white now the next one how do backlinks from bad neighborhoods affect your SEO now this is the opposite of if I link to a spammy site now let's say the other way around let's say a spammy site links to me well now that affects SEO not in a bet it doesn't really hurt you until you get a lot of them alright so let's say if you just had one two you know or maybe ten let's say you had a thousand links and twenty of them were spammy links well that's not gonna hurt you but if you had a thousand links and two hundred or three hundred or one hundred were spammy links that's gonna end up not so much hurting you it depends on the overall big picture but it's gonna end up affecting you so the whole point is don't go to websites and try to link build on them if they're bad sites meaning they're very spammy or people just use them people don't take care of them avoid those sites like the plague alright that's not a good idea alright so let's go into the next question we have about two more now how do multiple links on one page affect the linking juice here's what this question means let's say you go to website xyz.com and on xyz.com they have a link to 10 people and you're one of the 10 and then now let's say you go to abc.com and they have 100 links and you're one of the 100 now the wet the link from the website with fewer links is gonna give you more link juice and, and power than the link with a hundred within the website with a hundred links and that's simply because dilution the more links that are one page the less page ranks that's gonna go to all the links because it has to be it has to be spread out am amongst them so basically try to get links from websites where there aren't loads and loads of links because eventually there's a, there's a threshold where if you get a link from a site that has like a thousand or hundred or hundred fifty links on it it doesn't really help at that point anymore you've diluted your uh, your page rank that you could get and the benefit from it so that's how that that's the answer to that question now the next two final questions what is the effect of getting links to your site when someone puts a www dot before your URL or leaves it out and this is basically meaning check out the video on www versus non www preference and here's the effect if your website does a 301 redirect from either a non WW version to a www dot version of your URL then th nothing happens whether someone links to you with either version it doesn't matter but here's the big problem now if your website can be accessed and you could see it in your browser window www dot your name your website dot com and then another version just your website name dot com then you're gonna have a problem because if people link if you got 10 links to the www version and 10 links to the non www version then what's going to happen is Google is going to start diluting the focus of your website and you can start having duplicate content issues and this is going to hurt your efforts with climbing into the search engines alright so hopefully that makes sense now the next item what is the effect of having a trailing slash or non trailing slash on links to your own content and backlinks to your website exactly the answer is exactly the same one I just now said a second ago if you don't know what a trailing slash is then watch the video tutorial on that now for those that did watch it if your website does not automatically put a trailing slash or automatically leave it off then you're gonna have a problem of duplicate content if people link to both versions so the goal is on trailing slashes and www preferences to make sure you only have one or the other for each alright if this doesn't make sense watch the video tutorials on both of those topics alright that'll make sense of it so that's pretty much everything. The next items I'm going to go over are going to be how the two things of how to link to your own content and how linking out to other relevant content helps your website also rank better. All right. So.
that's everything. If you have any questions, email me at training at tizish.com or go to, better yet actually, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish and ask me there. All right, if you took value from this, hit the like button now, comment on it, email it, do whatever you can with it to get more people watching. All right, take care.